It's fall 2022, everything is so expensive, I'm tired of ordering takeout, and I'm craving poke bowls. Shortly, we're going to change that. Let's make poke bowls. Before we get started, fun fact. Did you know that green onions are the only plant that will actually scream when you cut them? Now listen to this. To be honest, I don't know the complete history of the poke bowl and neither does the internet. However, it's worth noting that this dish became increasingly popular in the USA during the 2010s. What I do know is that it is a traditional Hawaiian meal and that poke is nothing less than delicious. You can really choose any fresh produce you prefer, but today we'll be using green onions, cucumber, avocado, ginger, just kidding, I decided to omit the ginger here, and we'll also be using kale. Wash your vegetables and set them aside. For poke related dishes, you will want to use sushi rice to keep it traditional. This Japanese short grain rice has a high starch content, which gives the sticky texture needed for sushi. This bag cost me four bucks from my local farmer's market. First step, after you've measured out 1.5 cups or 300 grams of rice, wash it and then place it into a medium saucepan. Add two cups of water and place it on your stove top with high heat. I cover my steam port with a towel because I want to lock in the steam for my rice. Once it comes to a boil, drop your heat to low and let it cook for another 15 minutes until the rice has absorbed all the water. Next, we are going to chop and mince our garlic for our soy ginger sauce. After that, grab your green onion and chop it into small bits as well. In a small bowl, add half a cup or 120 milliliters of soy sauce, two tablespoons or 10 grams of ginger. I use ginger powder instead of my fresh ginger root for some odd reason. Add two teaspoons or 30 grams of sugar. Add a fourth of a cup or 60 milliliters of rice wine vinegar. Add one teaspoon or five milliliters of sesame oil. Lastly, add your garlic and green onions, give it a whisk and set aside. This next sauce was my favorite. For our sweet chili sauce, grab a wide saucepan and add half a cup or 100 grams of sugar, half a cup or 60 milliliters of rice wine vinegar, fourth of a cup of water, three tablespoons or 45 milliliters of fish sauce, two tablespoons or 30 milliliters of wine, and one tablespoon of red pepper flakes. Take it to the stove and let it simmer until half is left. At this point, mix together four tablespoons or 60 milliliters of cold water and 1.5 tablespoons or 10 grams of cornstarch to add to your sauce. Kill the heat and it should slowly develop into a thick consistency. Now that our rice is almost finished, let's make our rice seasoning. Add half a cup or 120 milliliters of rice vinegar and a fourth of a cup or 50 grams of sugar to a small bowl and mix. Once you transfer your warm rice to a bowl, add in your vinegar sugar mixture. Toss and fluff your rice to incorporate it evenly. For our cucumber bath, create another rice vinegar and sugar mix and allow it to soak for at least 10 minutes. The reason this time is so short is because we cut the cucumber thin so they absorb it very quickly. Let's not forget about healthy fats, the avocado. You can cut and slice yours however you like. I did slices to make it look pretty, but there wasn't a camera involved. You can bet I would've just thrown the whole thing in the bowl with no regrets. Chop up some more green onions. To finish our produce, remove the stems from your kale and try to chop your leaves into moderate sized portions. This is what fresh salmon looks like. It's beautiful and the color is amazing. And this is what fresh tuna looks like. Deep red with very little color alterations. Traditional poke has your seafood or fish at least cut into cubes. I got both of these from my local fish market. It's important to remember food safety here and remember that there's always some risk when consuming raw fish. When making sushi or poke at home, it is best to get your fish from a market where you can trust that the fish is extremely fresh and well cared for before you buy it. The last thing you wanna do is get food poisoning. Also, the term sushi grade is a misnomer. There is no accrediting body governing sushi grade fish. The claim is only as trustworthy as the fish market that makes it. Add your soy ginger sauce to your tuna and sweet chili to your salmon. I think they complement each other well in that order. Then place in the fridge while you prepare your bowl. Lay down a bed of kale because I love my leafy green vegetables. And yes, we eat the kale, this is not for decoration. Next, add your rice. Note, it is very sticky, so don't be alarmed. Add your salmon, add your tuna, add your avocado, add your pickled cucumbers, eat one and try not to fall in love, I dare you, and add your pickled ginger. This is actually necessary because it cleanses and neutralizes your palate in between bites. Trust me, there are a lot of flavors here and I want you to enjoy them properly. I like to add a few sesame seeds and dried seaweed to complete my bowl, but top yours however you'd like. And that's it, you just created your own poke bowl. Well, I did actually, but you're next. Get out there and do it and let me know how it turned out. 
Now that we're done here, if you feel like you learned something new or enjoyed this video, like this video and smash that subscribe button. See you next time.